Hello everybody, it's Catherine from Jane Catherine on Books and here we are in 2019. Happy New Year to you all, to subscribers old and new. And uh, I thought I'd just quickly go through my 2019 reading goals. I know it's the time of year that you're overrun with all us booktubers uh, putting out our 2019 goals. So yeah, just watch this at your leisure. So I've made a few goals for myself and um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to uh, sustain them this year. Try to make them realistic. So I want to uh, reread 10 books. Uh, I'm not a big rereader, uh, but there are quite a few on my shelf now that I've really loved and would like to reread and this is something new for me because I don't often reread uh, but I think the books that I would get something more out of them you know rereading them um, special for example the um, the night circus I think that's a book that I'd get a lot more out of it and find that I understand a lot more the second reading so there we are 10 rereads I want to continue with my five star project uh, so that is reading all the 2017 five star books from Books and La La and I'm enjoying that. So far I've read about six I think out of about 25, 26 something like that and uh, I'm really enjoying that. I've had one five star so far out of, uh, out of that collection and that was six stories by Matt Wesolowski. That was a really good, really good uh, mystery. I want to read one well-being book a month, so I've got a bit behind with reading my well-being and um, spiritual books, so I want to concentrate more on that. Uh, I'm going to continue reading Richardson Reads. Uh, this is a series by Basil Thompson and I am buddy reading that with Cheryl from CR Flames Fan. I think we've got two left. And then we're going to go on to another series. We'll have to decide what that's going to be. I'm also going to continue, uh, hopefully once a month, with my friend Kerry ann from Woman vs Books. Uh, we tend to try and do a buddy read every month. Uh, obviously it slacked off a bit before Christmas because Christmas is a busy time. So hopefully continue with that. Um, now... I want to try and get through my huge TBR and I'm sure everybody says this. I'm not going to stop myself buying books but I want to get through the ones that are on my shelf. Um, I'm trying to read two a month from my old TBR shelves that have been there a while. Not, not ones I acquired last year particularly but ones that have been on there for quite some while. They need to be either read or, or given away really. Uh, number seven, I want to finish the Throne of Glass series. I read book one and thoroughly enjoyed it. I've got book two. So if, um, if I like that as, as much, then I'm going to continue with the full series and need to crack on with that really. Next one, I want to try and get to read my Net Galley arcs earlier. Now, I don't think I go crazy in requesting um, loads and loads of books from the publishers via Net, Net Galley. Um, I've certainly, towards the back end of last year, cut that down. Um, it, it gets a bit too pressured because I, I believe that if they're good enough to send you the books, you request them or whatever. And uh, I think you should really not ignore them and be fair and read them and do a review. And that can get a bit stressful and a bit pressured. So I haven't been accepting as many and um, I'm hopefully just working my way through those and trying to get to those earlier. The next one, um, this is about reading non-fiction books. Uh, we have a lot of non-fiction books on our bookshelves. David's a bigger non-fiction reader than I am. Uh, but uh, yeah, I want to get more of those done. I would like to read 100 books, so again, set my challenge at 100 on Goodreads. <coughs> and uh, hopefully I will get to the 100. I know I read 143 in 2018, but I don't think I'll read as many 
as that. I'm certainly not doing a book a day in May, I don't think. It, uh, I enjoyed it, but, you know, I've done it. And um, what else have I got here? New series that I'm bringing up is duos. And uh, what I'd like to do is I'm pairing books up that have got a similar theme, similar plot, uh, similar topics, uh, important topics that it covers. And I want to see what it's like reading something a very similar genre, very similar in plot line and sort of compare and contrast that and see how I feel about reading uh, two books very similar close together. That'll be coming soon. I'm hoping that I'll be asked to co-host March Mystery Madness again. Uh, lovely Elizabeth from uh, Lizzie Fay Loves Books um, and Troy Towell. They, they were the originators of this and last year they invited loads of hosts to join in and help them and I loved it. Um, yeah, it was, it was tough to do um, because I was looking after my mum at the time but really, you know, mysteries are my thing and uh, really hoping that we're all going to be asked to host again this year. I'm doing two, two challenges. So I'm doing the Penguin Monthly. So I uh, had an email from Penguin uh, asking me about this challenge and they're going to send an email every month with a few choices uh, to choose from. So it's a book a month and uh, I've not done that one before so I thought that would be interesting and also uh, Kerry Ann from Woman vs Books, my bestie she's done Pop Sugar Challenge I think for the last couple of years and I'm going to give it a go, I've not done it before and um, hopefully it will um, be able to give some structure to me getting through some of my older TBR books off my shelves because you know to fulfill the challenges I probably have to go rooting around in in ones that I've had a while so yeah I think that'll be a good way of doing that and then finally um, when I mentioned uh, about one of my hobbies being uh, crafting textiles I do a lot of um, journaling uh, with my textiles and sewing, patchwork, that sort of thing. Uh, and everybody seemed really interested. There were quite a few comments from people saying they were really interested to hear about that side of my life. So once a month I'm going to do show and tell. So this is a textile show and tell, stroke craft show and tell. Let you know what I'm up to, um, if I've got any projects on the go. Uh, like if you've not seen it, I mentioned last year that I've got a piece um, about sleep that actually uh, two of my friends and I, they were displayed in York and um, year before last it started off in York and is now touring around Europe. So we need to find out actually where those, uh, where those pieces have gone. We had to do our work on pillowcases that were found in the archives in York from the old York hospitals as part of this sleep programme. So that was really interesting. And uh, yes, I was quite chuffed to be uh, to be involved in that. And uh, yeah, Jane Catherine Textiles on tour. Can you believe? Uh, so I thought we'd give that a go. Let me know what you think to that, if that's something that you'll be interested in. I've recently found uh, junk journaling and I'm really enjoying that. I did some junk journals uh, with memories of my mum from my sister and my two boys and thoroughly enjoyed it and I'm, I'm getting into that as well and there's some lovely lovely people out on booktube that do junk journaling um, one lady that I found in particular is called Gail Gail Agostini and I hope I've said that right Gail and uh, if you're crafty at all interested in junk journaling and uh, just want somebody to craft with every day for some company, then go ahead and check Gail's channel out. She got me through December. She did a, a December daily um, video, and uh, yeah, that got me through December, which was a tough month for me leading up to Christmas. So go and give her, you know, go and give her some love, 
and uh, she's got loads and loads of subscribers she you know she's got a, a lovely following I think she's just reached 15,000 so yeah I mean if you're just bookish here and you're not interested in crafts or anything then you know you don't have to uh, you don't have to look at that post but I had enough uh, enough people commenting that that'd be something they'd be interested in so there we go I'm sure that's enough to be going on with um, I'm hoping very much to be able to um, fulfill those things that I've set myself for 2019. I don't think that they're unrealistic. I've tried to sort of keep them attainable really. And thank you all very much for joining me. And I look forward to a wonderful 2019. Loads of lovely books to read. Loads of lovely people to meet. And lots of bookish fun. Bye bye for now. Oh